Sagittarius. Hello, hello. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic, and I'm going to do your love, peace, and happiness general tarot reading for the month of August 2016. Sagittarius, August 2016, love, peace, and happiness. My name is Melinda Nail Fanatic. I have many different um, social networks that I am on, uh, most notably Facebook and Instagram. So please look up my name and follow, like, share, subscribe. I really love when you share this information with those in your life. And I'm um, so grateful that Love Source God gave me the divine truths to share with Sagittarius, what they'll live, see, and breathe. What will help them in love, peace, and happiness for August 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you for these beautiful messages of divine truth for their love, peace, and happiness for Sagittarius, August 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going through a lot of changes right now, so just know that whatever changes you're going through, these things are, this too shall pass. And keep your mind focused on what's working for you, what you appreciate, what you want to see more of, counting your blessings, in every way, every day, everywhere, with everyone. This is a great time for love, peace, and happiness, and unity and connection to be expressed amongst our fellow brothers and sisters, which was basically my prayer before I even began doing these readings today, to help me deliver messages because my brothers and sisters could use some good words right now. So, as that's what we are, one family of humanity, uh, regardless of what color, background, or belief system you come from, we are one family, one brotherhood, one people of humanity. And so, for love, the messages we have are the Hanged Man, the Nine of Swords, and the seven of pentacles the bottom of the deck is the tower so somebody's had an ego strike somebody's ego has been wounded and so right now you're feeling a, possibly a lack of confidence or a sense of confusion somebody else's home has had a sudden unexpected change and um, there's a waiting period. You're coming in with the general energy of the hanged man. So things being put on hold for a reason. And um, with the nine of swords, it is the idea of aligning your thoughts, getting everything lined up in a way of what matters and bringing ideas and understandings that were in flux into alignment because now that you have this greater sense of understanding you can come to the end of learning that what you're in the middle of learning and so in doing that mind work you are releasing um, blockages to your self-awareness that is going to allow you to see a, a victory a triumph in the sense of how you are living, seeing, and touching your daily life. In other words, the physical things that you have. You've been waiting on something 
and um, with new understanding and self knowing going within yourself you remove the constraints that have been blocking something that you've been wanting and it has to come out of this self-awareness this thought because both of these landed here in the in the nine of swords I just slid them over but it's going to have an effect on your physical life things you can feel taste and touch and so options are going to open up for you but the thing of it is is going it may feel shocking and or come in suddenly so there, there's your fair warning about that for your peace what are your intentions what are your intentions and how you're going into things because Some of you haven't been using your intentions to your benefit. You have put yourself in a standstill because of the way you're allowing these thoughts to repeat in your mind. You are holding yourself in the same place. You have to understand that moment to moment the things that you're believing are bringing what's coming so you feel like you're in a standstill and what's happening is you're really just recreating the same situation over and over and over again and if you think it's somebody else's fault you're deceiving yourself with this masquerade card underneath you need to realize that you're you are the one that's that's creating these situations and so to free yourself from that and move out of this period of stagnancy you need to realize what are the beliefs i've been holding that are keeping to create the same day to day that i'm seeing and the same feeling that i'm not letting go of that i cannot seem to break free from but thank god you got the two of wands up here and you got the, the hermit card, the, the seek, the hermit card. So this is good because where this has been what's going on and you've been feeling in a standstill, I see that you're going to consider this information and you're going to realize that, you know what, she's right, I do. That's all I focus is on, how these things haven't worked out, it hasn't worked out, it hasn't worked out, it hasn't worked out. So in continue to focus on that, you are literally making it continue to not, hasn't worked out. And so if you can't think of how it's working out right now, do yourself a favor and just stop thinking about it. When you find your mind wandering again to it hasn't worked out, it hasn't worked out, understand that those are intentions that you're setting and you're continuing to create, lend your energy to it being the same way. And so if it's not working out, set your mind to something else that is beneficial for you to consider in the sense that it is flowing, it is positive, it is in motion, it is a reciprocal, it is balanced, it is cyclical, it's coming around, it's working out. As it flows, it comes and it goes and it's, it's always in, in flow and in motion and it's working out and, it, and, and where you're setting your mind to those things that sets out an intention that's going to help you create and be able to move into the energy of releasing from this round and around and around. It will help you align with things working out for you. By aligning with things working out for you, Things must work out for you because that's what you're aligned with. So where you're seeing standstills and blockages, understand that you have aligned yourself to that by continuing to focus your mind there and by telling yourself that it's somewhere else, it's somewhere else, it's not somewhere else, it's within. And that's the message here of the hermit, which is saying, seek. It's all within you. What is your mind focused on? And if you have to make it a scheduled chore to literally sit down and focus on where things are working out for you, it will lead to greater healing. 
inside yourself it will allow you the opportunity to see new things and so with this card here I'm it's like start planning for something better if you have to uh, focus on an imaginary story for yourself just make sure it's a good one but if you can find something that's really true in your life that it is maybe it's even still in the planning stages because this card is about planning and and looking over possibilities um, this card is about not yet having set the exact method but working on fine working on receiving the method you see her hands are they're wide open to receive they're wide open to receive and and she is on this path that is going to be a bit of a journey to get to that end goal and so um following that internal guidance system and using your your thoughts to fuel your intention creations to fuel your frequency and the direction in which you want your life to be guided and to go it, it it allows that flow to happen and so as this um, sudden change comes in for you you want to really understand that everything is happening in a guided way to help you reach this place all things that are happening are moving you towards this happy conclusion so thank you for liking sharing subscribing and requesting your personal readings i'm appreciative of your donations and everything that you do for me all the information is below in the information box love peace and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine until next time